to be a quick video of an activity that I just piloted this morning. I love trying it out, love sharing it with students, and so I'm eager to share it while I have uh, equipment out. Uh, this one I got the idea for from the Museo de Ciencias Naturales uh, Madrid. Uh, gracias, Tanya, el equipo de educación, uh, superbo. This is going to be a uh, quick activity to show the technique of molding and casting to make copies of fossils, as they do in natural history museums to make copies of dinosaur bones. And in this case, um, making a cast of shells um, from the Paris area um, that are very typical in the limestone around Paris. Uh, I hope at one point to make a video showing some of the fossils all over the streets of Paris and in famous buildings. Um, I'll save that for a different video. Okay, so the materials you need for this, the one new material to me um, that I ordered in just this week after being shown at the Natural History Museum in Madrid is uh, sodium algin, which is used for dental molding because it sets very quickly. It's uh, non-toxic, even edible, sometimes used as a food additive. I'm going to be using chocolate to be making a copy of the shells from the mold. Um, seemed like a fun edible thing to use. A uh, cup and spoon to mix it, a little bit of water from the sink. Uh, and then a hot plate and a pot to melt the chocolate. I already have it on the go. I actually just left the same chocolate from the previous group I was using. And making this video is kind of a useful way to uh, make use of the leftovers. Okay, so I'm going to start off with about two scoops of alginate. You can see it's not a very precise measure. two scoops there, and a roughly equal volume of water. So roughly as much water on top of that, mixing the alginate. You don't want to waste too much time stirring it, because it does set within a couple of minutes, so more time stirring you'll end up with problems with part of it set while you're stirring the rest. There is semi-liquid, semi-solid texture. Okay, and then all I'm going to do, I'm just going to put a couple of these shells on top. And they'll sink in a little bit as it sets. Okay, jumping the gun a little bit, waiting for this one to set. It's been in here about 30 seconds. It's not quite hard enough yet. I'm going to go ahead and leave it like two or three minutes so it's not liquidy for the chocolate. Here are a couple which I set about 15 minutes ago. We can already see some recognizable shapes that you might be familiar with. And yeah, that'll be fine. Okay, it's still a little soft. Uh, one cool trick I picked up from Tanya. If things have sunk in a little too far, just cut off the excess algae with the scissors. Carefully pull it out. I have the chocolate that I uh, previously melted. I'm just going to put a good sized dab on top to fill the mold. In the chocolate, unless it were really cold, actually takes longer to cool and set than the uh, alginate does. I'm going to grab some that I left outside that I'm hoping students haven't eaten while waiting for their class. I'll try an unmolding right up in front of the camera. Still a little bit soft, hasn't set fully, but looking beautiful there. And one last one. Ta-da! I hope you enjoyed this activity and you try it out on your own. Thanks for watching. Please check out my other videos of favorite experiments of scientists around the world, especially in including the one I'm about to publish uh, from the Natural Science Museum there in Madrid, the Night at the Museum. A nuevo, muchas gracias a Tania Gallegos y todo el equipo de educación al Museo Nacional de Ciencias Naturales.